Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, today we're fighting someone because the other guy had to back out for an injury. One is Australian, ranked number seven. I got some new submissions. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Volkanovski. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Nice move into half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Mm. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. So 31 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volk. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high level. He was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh. Round two winding down. All right, let's take a look back at some food. Second round underway. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big knee there. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, there is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a hurt very bad. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of It kind of looks like me at the poker. He's used everything he could early in the fight, and now he's just a survivor. Oh, he is up, but man, is low! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. No finish the fight. Come on, I'm trying to get the knees and to get another thing done. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Fifty points have landed for Alexander Volkanovski, landing at a pretty good clip, seventy-one percent accuracy against Alexander Volkanovski. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's a trust. He's hurt bad. Making all these shots count. Back to the feet. Stuff 
Watch that takedown attempt without issue. By the bell, really, really is. I had him. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That kick blocked by Blitz. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here. Just he's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Like he may try to hip escape. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. So it's going to go to decision. What a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, you got the gun. All right, here we go. Fourth oh, no, round of a possible no, five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body. Can I knock it out? Here. We'll see if he can follow it up. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Volkanovski. Huge knee lands from close. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he hip tosses it to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Volkanovski. Okay. Oh, three no. minutes now to go on the round. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic oh. movement by the bottom fighter. All right, side control now. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. Oh, we're getting the finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. I had him there. Full guard now, DC. You too, you guys. Right. You too, the tip here. He's attacking you, team. There it is. Come on. Come on. Almost have him, almost have him. And he's out. He's out. Finally. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. He was a great fight. So on the strength of a monumental submission win tonight, the celebration is on for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, a most deserving king of the 145ers. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this time. I want to go up to the next rank. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you have a good day. See ya!